Welcome back guys and in today's video we'll be talking about IBM Cloud but before that if you're new here make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications as well. So IBM Cloud is a set of cloud computing services for business offered by the information technology company IBM which stands for International Business Machines Corporation. There are two main divisions for IBM Global Business Services. The first one provides management and strategic consulting, system integration and application management services. While the second one provides services related to infrastructure and cloud. So IBM Cloud belongs to the second division. All of this about IBM Cloud started when IBM began to develop strategy for cloud computing in 2007, announcing that it has planned to build clouds for enterprise clients and provide services. And on June 2013, IBM announced its acquisition of SoftLayer, which is a public cloud computing platform that offers a range of services. But as of 2021, right now IBM offers over 190 services, that is 190 cloud services, which includes those of compute, networking, storage, security, application management, and many more. IBM offers both platform as a service and infrastructure as a service. The platform scales and supports both small development teams and large enterprise businesses. With IBM's cloud infrastructure, organizations can deploy and access virtualized IT resources from anywhere at any time, and it is globally deployed across data centers around the world. Globally, IBM deploy workloads in over 60 data centers and now into 6 regions and 18 availability zones. The IBM Smart Cloud brand includes includes infrastructure as a service, software as a service, and platform as a service, which is offered through public, private, and hybrid cloud delivery models. And IBM places these offerings under three main areas, which include Smart Cloud Foundation, Smart Cloud Services, and Smart Cloud Solutions. IBM offers cloud delivery options including solely private cloud, solely public cloud, and variations in between. So private, public, and hybrid clouds are not strictly distinct, as IBM allows the option to build a customized cloud out of a combination of public cloud and private cloud elements. So companies that prefer to keep all data and processes behind their own firewall can use the private cloud services managed by their own IT staff or else, if a company wants to make it public, a company can choose the pay-as-you-go pricing model and use the uh, IBM's IT staff. And hybrid cloud options allow for some processes to be hosted and managed by IBM while others are kept on a private cloud. Siri, Huntington, National Bank and ADP are the major customers of IBM and yes that brings us to the end of this video regarding IBM Cloud if you like the video make sure to share it subscribe to my channel and hit that like button as well